Wow. Just wow. They did it. They actually did it. They actually managed to make a movie that's worse than Food Fight. Yeah, I shit you not. This is a this is a freaking milestone in terms of history. They this they managed to make a movie worse than Freddy Got Fingered, worse than the Garbage Pail Kids movie, worse than Food Fight. How in the bloody hell do you do that? <clears throat> I'll tell you how. Well, let's let's go back to where it all started. Twitter. Do you remember that leak where uh, SpongeBob, you know, the Sa Sandy Cheeks movie? So the Sandy Cheeks movie. <clears throat> the Sandy Cheeks movie was leaked onto the internet, mostly Twitter, and I downloaded it, and I was absolutely absolutely revolted. It was that bad. I was revolted at not just what was on shown on the screen, but what would actually be from deeper down. <clears throat> so let, let's let's talk about this. So yeah, the Sandy Cheeks movie. Now I decided, oh wait, maybe this is just a rough draft because the movie is not supposed to come out until many months later. <clears throat> and you know there are just. There are those times where you have to cut out scenes because either you don't like it or it doesn't go well with the story or test audiences. <clears throat> but no, that was the actual movie. What is this movie? Like, what the hell? What in the actual hell is this movie? This is, without a doubt, the worst movie ever made. And that's saying a lot, because think about it. We had Tom Green's Freddy Got Finger from 2001. We have drawn together the movie, which I managed to see on a torrent. <clears throat> and God forbid, I do not want to see it again, even though it was just a big troll. I've seen Food Fight. I even saw the Garbage Pail Kids movie, because my dumbass was curious enough to go find it on a torrent. I kid you not, <clears throat> some of the stuff I see to talk about are from torrents. <clears throat> so, so what, what is this movie? What is this movie? The Sandy Cheeks movie, otherwise known as Saving Bikini Bottom, is about Sandy and SpongeBob teaming up to save Bikini Bottom. <clears throat> now to be fair, Sandy and SpongeBob have a very nice dynamic. I'll give you an example. Mooncation from season eight. Their dynamic was just so nice there. It just rolled off the tongue. It just <clears throat> felt really, really good. Yeah, you gotta check out the episode. It's definitely the best from the season eight vacation clips. <clears throat> so, so I thought when I was first time, I was like, hey, it's Sandy and SpongeBob teaming up. That usually works. I mean, it gave us Mooncation, like I said, and it gave us Karate Choppers, and my shopping list, that's one of my personal favorites, and SpongeBob, Sandy, and the Worm. That's a classic by any means. <clears throat> but they managed to turn SpongeBob from a lovable, lovable character that really keen to the inner child in you, because he's on the autism spectrum, me too, and turn him into, into, they, he made me turn into Mrs. Puff in Demolition Doofus. I kid you not, I wanted to run over the little fucker when I, when I saw him on screen, because all he was, was <clears throat> annoying. He was flat out annoying and a menace. He was so unlikable. It's not like Spongebob, like, I mean, we've seen bad Spongebob. We've seen him in A Pal for Gary and To Love a Patty. But you know what? I'd actually take To Love a Patty over this. At least in To Love a Patty, all Spongebob wanted to do was 
spew mambazooka juice all over a freaking sandwich. I mean, that's not that's not uncommon to me. I've seen Sonic do that from new grounds. <sighs> He's just really bad. Like, just what what kind of person would turn one of those beloved characters in all of, in all of history? And turn them into <clears throat> someone that you just want to run over with a steamroller. That's how bad we've sunk. That's how low we've gotten. I am disgusted. Like, there is one scene. There is one scene where SpongeBob, I kid you not, literally huffs a pile of shit. I am not joking. <clears throat> and I'm not going to show that, obviously, because, well, that's going to go into another reason why I think this is the worst movie ever made. And it kind of plays off to something that happened in Food Fight, although I haven't talked about that because, well, who the heck wants to know, who, who the heck wants to see a 19-year-old idiot talk about Food Fight? <clears throat> so... This movie. <clears throat> the whole plot of this movie is that Bikini Bottle gets scooped up by marine biologists who want to milk SpongeBob. Okay. That is the most insulting plot for a SpongeBob movie ever made. Why? Because the creator of SpongeBob, Stephen Hillenburg, <clears throat> he is a marine biologist. He created the show to interest to get kids interested in marine biology. And now you're basically going to defile him? You're going to tear up his legacy and shit on it like it means nothing? And then they put in the little, in the end, the dedicated to Stephen Hillberg. You do not have the right to put that in there. When you made a marine biologist a fucking villain in a SpongeBob movie. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm getting really angry here because, like, this is tarnishing one of the best people on the face of the earth. This guy created a cartoon that would define the rest of humanity. It is a cartoon that brings people together one way or another. It brings people together more than Velma. At least with, I mean, sure, Velma had it with more hatred, but, you know, <clears throat> gosh. And then there's the creepy CGI. Like, the CGI in this thing... <clears throat> I am not, I'm not kidding when I say this, but... <clears throat> when the animation in lights, camera, pants... Better yet, the music videos, all the small things, looks better than this... You know you screwed up. I mean, I don't blame the animators. They're probably fresh out of school, desperate to start a new project. But I mean, you gave them a bad budget and expected them to take what is basically an 11 minute episode into a full hour film. <clears throat> is Viacom really that fucking disgraceful? Like, this is just, ugh. It's, it's bad. The animation actually looks bad. <clears throat> Twi I mean, Sponge on the One Run was alternatively like, showing that the animation of 3D Spongebob was getting really bad. <clears throat> like, it's had that choppy thing from Into the Spider-Verse. I mean, I didn't even darn about that. I mean, it doesn't really change anything. I had, heck, Puss in Boots' Last Wish did it. But I kid you not, just... It, it's bad. The animation is borderline bad. <clears throat> but then we get to, in my opinion, what makes this... The worst film ever made. <clears throat> the fetish jokes. I kid you not. There are fetish jokes in this film. There are jokes that only Elsa Gate would put on there. I already mentioned the SpongeBob huffing a pile of shit. That's a fetish. That just fucking... It fucking reminded me of Two Girls, One Cup. And you know how bad that is. That is the, in the Gen Z childhood trauma. Where we were us dumbasses didn't know how the intelligence of a brick and all the intelligence of a brick combined to fucking watch that. <clears throat> like, like,
like the stuff SpongeBob sniffing. This movie is horse shit. I mean, sniffing shit is one thing. Then they have it taking a literal fetish from deviant art. There is a scene where Sandy literally inflates like a fucking deviant art fan art. Now, okay, so if this movie were for, say, adults, I wouldn't really, <clears throat> I wouldn't get this angry. I'd be mad, but I didn't, I wouldn't get that angry. But the problem is, this movie is for children. This is for little tykes. This movie is for little freaking kids. There are children watching Spongebob huff a pile of shit and watching Sandy being inflated. Is Viacom just trying to spread some sort of sexual fetish? <clears throat> like, this automatically, ma this makes it just as bad as Food Fight. Because Food Fight also had those fetish, what, fetish, um, fucking script this. They also had fetish jokes. <clears throat> but you know what? The only fe the mostly fetish like jokes are mostly in <clears throat> are mostly just lines of dialogue that wouldn't pass in a German porno. Here, they're full on display. Like, they don't tell you. They show you getting inf or getting inflated. Like <clears throat> That, that is disgusting and disgraceful of you, Viacom, to shower this onto little kids. You make me frickin' sick. <clears throat> so, so, yeah. I mean, Freddy Got Fingered? That movie is bad. But you know what? It was made for adults. Little kids were not supposed to see the, that pile of horse shit. <clears throat> so... And besides, it was also made just to troll people. <clears throat> Drawn together in the movie. Animated, but an adult film. That was meant to be a troll. Garbage Pail Kids. It's a movie for kids, yeah, but it was based on a fad. Not F-A-G, F-A-D. Fad, like, like leg warmers and hoop skirts. And bell-bottom pants. Or inflatable pants. Oh my god, Patrick made those popular in the 2000s. <clears throat> so, I mean, the Garbage Pail Kids was just based off of passing, like, it was just a little trend in the 80s, those little trading cards. Like, nobody remembers what the hell those Garbage Pail Kids are. Nobody even knows their names. I mean, <clears throat> the only notable character, I guess, is that Crocodile character. But even then, I don't know his name. <clears throat> so, and Food Fight? I mean, yeah, it's got those fetish, those fetish like uh, <clears throat> fetish jokes, but you know what? At least it was based off something that no kid would really give a darn about. Like, when's a kid gonna be so eagerly hyped over a fucking tuna fish? No one's gonna go cuckoo crazy over Mister Clean or Mrs. Buttworth, Buttersworth. Sorry, I said but, but Butters Buttworth. <laughs> Thank you, Squig. You've made my humor even more broken. <clears throat> um, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> Food Fight had basically things that nobody would really give a darn about. So I could pass it off and, well, <clears throat> it, it, it was originally the worst movie I ever saw until the Saving McKinney Ball movie because, let this be in mind, SpongeBob is the most popular character in all of animation. Kids animation. <clears throat> SpongeBob SquarePants has been entertaining the world for 25 years, charming a generation of kids and adults. So you're telling me <clears throat> you made a movie with a with a character that has charmed the world of of kids and adults from any age, basically creating a cartoon that could really just be world peace in and of itself, and you have in the movie Spongebob sniffing shit and Sandy getting inflated like a DeviantArt character. You're basically using this movie as a to as a basic cop-out to stick in your dirty fetish work. You make me sick, Viacom. You make me fucking sick. 
I, now I see why Paramount didn't want this on their channel. They knew. They probably knew how bad this was. They knew that they should not show this to kids. They started to just squeak it on Netflix because, well, kids are pretty... Kids, well, I don't think they really know Netflix all that much. They're probably sticking with their Paramount Plus and stuff. Netflix is more for the teens. <clears throat> but still, you take SpongeBob and you basically turn it into a fetish film. This movie is nothing but a fetish film for the sick, twisted fucks. It is a spit in the face to Stephen Hillenburg and the whole legacy of Spongebob in particular. It is animation that is butt ugly and makes lights, camera, pants look actually pleasing. Like, it's only slightly better than Employee of the Month. <clears throat> and has fetish, has fetish humor that will literally drive me freaking crazy. I hate this movie. This is... Without a doubt, the worst movie ever made.